Hi everyone and welcome to another Stackman Studio experience. So in this video I want to talk to you guys about Newton Mail, formerly known as Cloud Magic, and what it means for the future of mobile mail and mail products in general. Do you need a new domain or just something different? Something better than the competition? Do you need a company that will be there almost 24-7, except for holidays sometimes? Depends on if they want to work that day. But if you want no frills and no excitement and, well, nothing being shoved down your throat whenever you don't want it, then Namecheap is probably for you. Namecheap, they never try to upsell you when you only want one product and they have sometimes great customer support. Name cheap. It's just okay. So this episode of Not Okay is brought to you by my absolute pissed offness. Because I had noticed for a while that I had not seen any notifications for my emails and it was getting quite frustrating. So I went in and I noticed that they changed their policy in uh, the Cloud Magic app, uh, now known as Newton Mail, and you have to pay to upgrade just to get those features. Now, what? Why is this a problem, and what does it mean? Well, it means that either you pay the fifty, sixty dollars, or even more. Uh, depending on when you buy it, you have to either pay or go. As stated in the emails that I had with the team after I went ahead and bought the app for 25 US dollars, and frankly, it's quite annoying. I don't like the fact that I have to beg a company to essentially listen to us as consumers. Now, I, I've i already recorded this video once and I had to delete it because frankly, I just didn't think that it got the message across. So if you want to, I've linked a PDF down below. It's the complete email conversation with the representatives of Team uh, Newton. And they frankly have told me no answers minus they want people out if they aren't paying. So Not Okay was originally a series where I just sit, rant, and talk about how you can fix these issues. So if you are a paid user and you're finding it upsetting that these people are forcing you to pay money just for a product that you may use once a day or even less or maybe even more, maybe you use it five to six times a day and you have 10 email accounts synced like I did. If you need even the most basic features, such as push notifications and active sync and all of these other features, you have to pay the either $25, which expires tomorrow, January 21st, 2017, or you have to go with another app, which Ironically, I found this email app uh, known as Alto, and I'll link it in the video's description, but it's amazing. It looks, feels, and is just so similar to Cloud Magic back in its good, good old days. And frankly, I highly recommend it to anyone who, who needs something different, who needs a product that matters. This product, maybe it is made by AOL, a failed company of the 80s and 90s, or more 90s, um, but the fact is that it is amazing. It has features that, like email tracking and for like packages and such, um, it offers uh, updates for uh, the weather and all of these other things like that. I, I can't really think about it right now. Um, but there is so many features and again, I've linked it down below. It's completely free. 
And I currently have my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight email accounts right now on my phone. And it's just so amazing to know that a company still does care and still will offer free service. So that's my that's my suggestion for people who want to switch. For people who don't want to switch, go ahead. Tell Cloud Magic to go fuck themselves and make every one of your accounts on their servers. Because if you read the PDF, again, attached down below, or linked down below, they state that every single email synced, even if they don't use the advanced features, still costs them money. And this is fundamentally incorrect. The, the only job of a mail server, and I'm going to explain it the same way I explained it to someone else who doesn't really know computers and doesn't really care to know computers. A mail server, the or sorry, a mail client, which is all Cloud Magic slash Newton is, is a service that sits in between your mail server, like Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook, whatever you want to have, your your server, and your phone. They sit in the middle between them and continue saying, oh, have you sent a message? No? Okay. Have have you received a new message? No? Okay. Or if you have received a message, it pulls it down onto the device. If you send a message, it sends it to the server, and everything is handled by your server. So the fact that they make you... That they say that every account incurs monthly costs is fundamentally incorrect, as I said, because the the more technical explanation is that it's a three-way handshake where your client on your phone says, hey, I want to check if I have any new messages because I have an important meeting that I have to go to in an hour and I need to make sure that there is nothing being changed. So the 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 mail client, which is the app that is hosted on maybe a server that they have, or usually just a low powered VPS, um, or even a dedicated server could handle one. I mean, uh, not a dedicated server, a shared server could handle a uh, an email client sharing ser- service. So the what that does is then it pulls it sends a request that you've authorized because you've logged into your account on that device. And it sends a request to your your main server, say Gmail or Hotmail, and says, hey, have I gotten any new emails? And you can even say, oh, I want to look for emails from Dave or Bob. And if the email server says, no, you haven't gotten any new emails from Dave or Bob, but you have this other email that is in your uh, XYZ folder, it then pushes a notification saying that you got a new email. That is how it fundamentally works. Same if you on your phone uh, send a message, it sends it through their service and simply encrypts it and sends it on or doesn't encrypt it and waits until it gets to the server. And then the server handles all of the heavy weight and like all of the heavy lifting that makes the server go vroom or makes the email go vroom, I guess, that makes it go away and go to the person that you want it to go to. This is how email servers work. However, they want you to think that that's not how email servers work. They want you to think that you are logging into their service and they are hosting your emails, which is fundamentally incorrect. It pisses me off that these companies are doing this because, frankly, they have no right to do this. So either switch off of the company and get a refund if you can or contact the Google Play service and ask them for a prorated refund because frankly this is not worth 50 to 60 dollars every single year. The services that they offer just aren't worth it. Not when you can do a quick Google search and find everything that you want to know about the person who just emailed you. I can almost guarantee that any person that emails you has a LinkedIn, a Facebook, a Twitter, 
or any other service. Most people have a Google account. That's why they can log in and you can easily find that. That's pretty much all that they're doing with the card system when you tap on the name and it brings up all the information about the jobs and all that. That's all they're doing is a simple Google search for you. If you're going to be that lazy, then you do not need to be in business, which is the market that they're contending for. Frankly, save your money. Just don't worry about this product. Just leave it be and move on with your life. That is my suggestion. Again, Alto Mail, also linked down below, is an amazing product that can replace and get rid of Newton Mail. Let's make that happen together today. Thank you guys for watching. If you're already subscribed, remember to stay loyal and stay subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon to be notified whenever I upload. So thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.